The Wolf Internet Radio launched on April 21, 2010 on the heels of a $50,000 technology fee grant from the University of West Georgia and a passion by five students led by Dr. Brad Yates. The goal of these original students was simply to do one thing, make great radio for students by students. They did just that, setting a precedence aimed at future students to make radio awkward and fun for the West Georgia campus. I can't uh, say enough about, about that first group. Um, in practicum, there were five, five guys. Um, I think it was Sean and Jeff Tidwell, Chris York, Rowdy Ryan, Phillips, and uh, Rod Bolton. They were just committed. Example, here's committed. Um, the class met at 5.30 on, I think, a Tuesday. Well, we did our first test shows on 5.30 that were supposed to be morning shows. But then I said, all right, guys, we got to do a morning show. And I said, you're going to be here three days a week, 8 a.m. to 10. Uh, and they're like, we'll do it. You can't ask for anything more. Commitment, true commitment. I learned tremendous amounts from them on how to program the station, how to promote the station, how to get our name out there, how to get our brand out there on campus, and how to eventually just grow. The first group of students, and I knew this then, were vital to laying that foundation to begin the process of creating the normal at a radio station where you have groups of students collaborating and groups of students talking about how to make this better. It taught me a lot. It also taught me that I don't know a lot. All of the mistakes we made along the way. I believe from the get-go, if we could get together and get it one year, make it a year, then we'd be just fine. <laughs> Say, calm down, Chris York, right there. They were and they will always be the foundation of the wolf. Without them and all the accomplishments and all the hard work that they put in, uh, there wouldn't be this today. Welcome to the morning, Hal. Good morning, West Georgia. There's one thing we're good at it's keeping things awkward. The first show uh, would have been the morning howl. And the morning howl is uh, near and dear to my heart because it was. The first true show from top to bottom in what I had envisioned. I always wanted a morning show. The Morning Howl was the first ever show with meat and substance. It started out uh, as an evening show way early on, the, e the Morning Howl at night um, with practicum students, and then we transitioned it into the Morning Howl, doing the morning show with just three, the, the group of seven in the show, and then just random students would come in. And um, that set the tone for what types of shows we wanted. It set the tone of how shows would work on our station. It set the tone for how students would work in shows. And the doors stayed open in the Humanities 132 radio lab. So we'd prop the doors open so people would come in and out and others would walk by. And that's how Crystal and Taylor and Tommy and Jared and others uh, began to say, what's going on in here? And so they would come in and just watch and listen and then they would ask questions about it. And next thing you know, they're like, we wanna do it, we wanna do it. And before you know it, that room on most days was filled with, you know, eight, ten people. The point of the morning show was to get you up and get you ready. But for us, it was also about being awkward, being that personable, doing those things that no almost touch on the line and then make people, you know, kind of turn red at their desk, but at the same time is funny enough for everybody. The morning howl, well, the morning howl meant a lot to me because, um, well, hey, it actually made getting up early in the morning fun. You know, you get to talk about bacon and sports with your friends, your colleagues, people you love and care about. Yeah, I, I had mixed emotions watching the movie because, like, part of me was trying to be, like, you know, Mr. Romantic, like, oh, I see where they're going with this, and the other part, like, I can't turn the analytical part, part of my brain off, and I was like, I don't think amnesia works like that. <laughs> <laughs> like, It was a true learning experience in that I learned a lot more than I expected to learn and not only about radio, but about myself. Like, hey, I could schedule an interview. I could, you know, record the show. I can make this segment piece, a stager, a stinger, uh, a promo, a show promo, things like that. So it completely changed me professionally and personally. 
The Wolf quickly became much larger than just a college radio station, but a multimedia experience with students from numerous backgrounds and skills to improve the multimedia content of The Wolf Internet Radio far beyond the microphone. Quite frankly, they can do whatever they want. It's time for Wayland's Pub. We could get radio going again and still have that college radio experience, but in the meantime, you're teaching people about working the uh, technology, but you're also involving video because, uh, as we now know, radio isn't just on the microphone. It's all about video content and graphics. It's about, you know, sound, sound boards and uh, all kinds of multimedia. You know, the way that you even approach recording audio in general and having audio interact with video, it, it all you know, integrates, and it's all something that can be utilized to better your whole educational experience. It's, it's definitely more multimedia because we're doing a lot more with, with film and videography now, um, especially like all of our social media is amazing, and um, it has really helped get us more integrated and get our reach out there. More, you know, built on just multiple levels of media. We're doing social media, we're doing promotions, we're doing production, we're doing programming, we're doing shows, we're doing DJs, we're doing um, some marketing, some sales. They're making sure that everybody that comes in here can stick their hand in everywhere and have, a, have the knowledge if they need to switch to another department or they need to help somebody else work on something. Everybody that finishes and graduates knows how to do. I'm very lucky to have learned as much as I did at The Wolf. I feel like it helped me um, better prepare myself for when I went out and got the uh, big boy job. The peak of The Wolf as a multimedia experience occurs each year with Wolfstock, the annual birthday celebration of The Wolf Internet Radio. This event allows students to broaden their experience by organizing a live music event complete with dancing, activities, and professional growth. Wolfstock allows student creativity to broaden outside of the studio and present itself to many students who may not have been aware of the Wolf Internet Radio. Wolfstock came about because we wanted to celebrate our launch. We launched April 21st, 2010 with a nice cool opening party in 2011 rolling around. We wanted to do something cool and we just randomly said Wolfstock, we were in this 60s mood and it felt right, it just worked right. And so we put off, oddly enough, in less than two months, the coolest and weirdest one night of peace, love, and the wolf. And it was great. You have to have your promotion set up. You gotta make sure all your bands are, are booked and here and they have everything they need. You gotta make sure your logistics and how you set up your event, you know, where's the stage gonna be? That all comes into play. Well, I definitely think it's helped me come out of my shell a lot more because I started as a door greeter and I've worked my way up to last year, I was in charge of our video game competitions. It's helped me to be more prepared for leadership roles. It taught me really change happens. It's constant and it's never gonna stop. So be ready for it and be ready to turn on a dime and head in a completely different direction. These are the kind of things that students need to have experience in troubleshooting, being confident, not losing their cool and getting through it and then finding that if you work as a team, it's going to work out. The only question left is where does the experience continue from here? In five years, I'd like to see us with double the amount of students. Um, I think with increase in enrollment, we'll get there, but you know, double of what we have, double the space. Honestly, we need a new building. And so hopefully in five years, we might be closer to that and we can be able to have more students and utilize that. But I think that student programming will improve and it will, what we're hoping is what I'm hoping, and I, and I believe it'll happen, is more of that 24 hour student uh, led programming like it was in the 80s, 70s and 80s. Oh, I think it's gonna be, it's gonna be an equal number in all the departments. Where I see it grow, I only see good things in the future. Growth of listenership, growth of student act, you know, activities and, and experiences and integrating more in campus life. Oh, I hear a lot of, well, I want to have a show. So I think people are really going to get more into being on air. Um, and I definitely see, hopefully, us being able to have more events. We'd love to see triple the shows that we have. That would be perfect. 
If we had more shows, then we can have more listeners and bring more students in with a wide variety of, of beliefs and values and thoughts. And that would be exactly what we need. And maybe potentially, eventually buy it and get back on the FM frequency. For many, The Wolf holds a special place in the mind of its graduates, advisors, and students approaching graduation. It means that uh, I guess what I had proposed with all the input from all of the others, because it's completely a team, never about me alone. I just happened to write a few things and maybe it was, it was crafted properly. Um, yes, it means, it means the world to me. I mean, the Wolf Internet Radio to me means a lot. I learned so much about this industry through The Wolf. I learned so much about even my current job through The Wolf. The majority of my friends that I made here have been at the station. Whether well, they've either graduated or they're still here with me right now, it, uh, it's just, it's made a big impact. Actually, it kind of changed what I wanted to do in life. It means a lot of things. It definitely means, um, <laughs> It's a learning experience. It's been a lot of learning. It's been a lot of good times. It's been a little bit of arguments, but it has definitely felt like slowly forming a family here at the school and people that I still wanna stay connected with um, for a long time. The Wolf is half of my life. It's what I get up to do for the day, and it's what I go home thinking about. It's what I helped create. It's a lot. It, it literally opened my eyes to a whole other you know, set of things I could potentially do with my life. Um, it was pretty awesome.